Welcome into the Great Debate on SportstownChicago.com. Catch us live on the air every Tuesday and Thursday morning from 8 to 9.30, where Tad, Wyatt, and Steve will cover all the latest and greatest news and happenings in the world of sports. It's Tuesday and Thursday mornings from 8 to 9.30, right here on SportstownChicago.com. One of my high school buddies, we go back to uh, days of Conant High School Band. Ryan Mortensen was a trombone player, and I was a tenor sax player, and um, kept in touch over the years since high school ended in 2010. Uh, Proud Conant alums right here. And uh, now Ryan is currently studying at Illinois State and also in his spare time goes out to Major League Games and ball hawks. So we are joined right now by my friend, Ryan Mortensen, the ball hawk. Ryan, how are you doing this morning? Good. How are you guys? We're doing well. Doing good. Can't complain. Doing good. Can't complain. Good to hear. Absolutely. So, got to ask, since the World Series ended last night, mm-hmm. I know as a Cub fan, as a diehard Cub fan like you are, and like a diehard Cub fan like I am, um, this really wasn't all that great a World Series to be watching, but... I have to say that I was rooting for the Red Sox because I hate the Cardinals. What did what did you take out of the World Series, and was that the the same that you were thinking as well? Well, you know, I'm down here in uh, Normal, which is a lot closer to St. Louis than you guys are. So uh, there's been a couple loud mouths and stuff, and people uh, opening their yes about the Cardinals and everything. Um, sometimes I very subtly rooted for the Red Sox. Other times, depending on the situation, not so subtly. Um, but there were a couple great games in there. I think it was four and five uh, with how they ended and everything. Uh, but a great series, and obviously I'm glad that the Red Sox got to win it at home too. Very good, very good. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, how is it being a ball hawk? Um, you know, I absolutely love it. Um, I feel like I've kind of found my special niche as a fan. Uh, it's obviously not something everybody can do because you don't see 40,000 people out of batting practice every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm really glad I've had the discipline, uh, and it's kept my interest for so long, and I've been able to devote the time and energy and have that time to go to all these games. Uh, I'm also like looking at uh, other Ballhawks blogs and keeping up on Twitter uh, and finding out what's new in the little world we've kind of created for themselves. It's actually a pretty big network, and I was really surprised when I got more into it last year. Uh, but the best part is that I found my special way as a fan to watch the game that I love. Uh, some people do fantasy sports. Others have season tickets and go to all the all their team's home games. Um, but this is my thing that's original to me. Now, how successful have you been as a ball hawk? Uh, quite honestly, that's tough to say for me. Uh, some people I talk to know that Zach Hample has passed over 8,000 balls, uh, and then I tell them I'm up to 64, and they think it's not really that big of a deal. Um, other people I bring it up to, they kind of put it into, into perspective um, and realize that in all the games they've gone to, they haven't even come close to a ball. Um, but the majority of the people are kind of indifferent and uh, say, oh, that's pretty cool, and they don't really go that much. Uh, they don't really think about it that much more. Uh, personally, I'd say I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I went to 20 games this year, which I feel is like the perfect number for me. Uh, I don't have the time and resources, and I'm not close to a major league park to go to 65 games a year like some of these other ball hawks in other cities. Um, the most frustrating part is having the gaps between the games um, because even though my mindset is uh, pretty stable throughout every game, uh, my skills go up and down as far as judging fly balls and just kind of getting used to the whole situation again. It's really frustrating not being able to pick right up on that right away. Um, But to recap, I still consider myself an amateur just because of my lack of experience. Uh, What I've done in the past three seasons since I've started pretty much equals what some of these more uh, serious and committed ball hawks do in one season. Um, So taking that into consideration, I wouldn't put myself in that higher tier quite yet. And Ryan Mortensen joins us on the Illinois Center for Broadcasting Hotline. Um, Ryan, you mentioned Zach Campbell. What kind of an influence a role model type, um, an example type, um, maybe even a mentor type. I don't know if you've met him, um, but what does his um, 
status as a ball hawk do for someone like you who's, uh, you just said you consider yourself an amateur? Right. Um, I mean, about three or four years ago, I just got more and more into his blog, and I thought it was just amazing how he could go to games and do this and come out with all these balls and everything. And I kind of actually idolized him and read his blog in uh, 2010. Uh, and then in 2011, I decided to give it a shot. Um, and since I was having success, I like to read about his successes, too. And obviously, he's uh, kind of the role model for this entire sport. Uh, so I really highly looked up to him. Uh, last year, I looked up to him, too. Uh, I got the chance to finally meet him at U.S. Cellular earlier this year. He was sponsored by uh, Big Sunflower Seeds, and they sent him to every major league park. Uh, and I was able to catch him coming to Chicago. Um, so that was really cool. It was kind of a full circle moment to uh, ask him all the questions I've been wanting to ask him since I've been reading his blog uh, when I started a couple years ago. Um, but now it's kind of tapered off a little bit because the more people and more ball hawks I'm meeting, as well as getting more into the hobby myself, I'm realizing everybody doesn't need to be like him, and everybody could uh, collect balls and count however many balls uh, towards their total as they want. So what's, like, the most, like, I wouldn't say famous ball you've caught or, like, one that means the most to you? I was hoping you guys would ask that. Yeah. Um <clears throat> This past uh, Memorial Day, I was in Cincinnati at the Great American Ballpark to see the Cubs okay. play the Reds. Um, and it was right after the gates opened. I had season tickets uh, from another Reds fan, so I was able to get into the stadium a little earlier than most of the people. Uh, and I was down the third baseline, and I was, swear to God, I was the only Cubs fan in the entire stadium, much less on that side of the stadium. I mean, there were still Reds fans behind uh, Red ushers behind me cleaning up peanut shells from the night before, so oh, wow. I was really early. Wow. Um, and then uh, Kayuji Fujikawa, if you remember him. Okay. Um, okay. He got a week and he actually pitched his last game of the season, but he was over there uh, kind of fooling around with his translator. I could tell he was kind of done being serious and warming up. They were doing behind-the-back throws and catches and stuff. Um, so specifically for this situation, uh, I learned how to ask for a ball in very broken and not very... Uh, fluent Japanese. Uh, so I hold my glove up and I ask him, and then he all of a sudden stops, he does this big elaborate wind-up, and he throws me a ball. And mm. then just kind of joking around, I had a little bit of a connection with him, I say, hey, you know, that's a little low, and I'm trying to signal that as much as I can. Mm -hmm. uh, but then he holds his glove back up, and I've seen from uh, different videos and heard from different ball hawks experience, I knew exactly what that meant. So I took my backpack off and stuff, I threw it in the seat, and then I throw the ball back to him, and then he throws it back to me, and then I throw it back to him. And we do that three or four times, uh, and I was playing catch with a major league player. And then uh, after four or five throws, he kind of just slapped his glove and said, yeah, you keep it. So um, that probably goes down as one of my coolest ones. That's pretty cool. That is really yeah. cool. That is, that's quite the story. Um, and it's really those connections like that that really uh, – that really appealed to me in this hobby and stuff. It's kind of like you have a closer connection to the game than any other fan in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, consistently, on a consistent basis, I think I've gone 21 straight games with getting a ball, and that's bringing home a piece of every game I've been to for the past almost year and a half. That's awesome. Um, and not many other people can say that. That's really cool. So mm -hmm. before we get out of here, I told you I was going to throw a hypothetical situation out to you. Mm -hmm. It's game seven of name the year – when the Cubs will be in the World Series. Game 7, Wrigley Field, and you happen to get tickets, and you're hawking, and you happen to catch the game-winning home run. What do you do? Um, well, first step, I can guarantee you, if I can fight through the crowds and everything, I don't even care about the celebration at this point. My number one goal is to find the head of security and get that ball authenticated. Uh, that's really the only thing you can do in that situation. Um... After that, boy, I, I, I knew you were going to throw me uh, some sort of situation, but I can't even really fathom that uh, existing. Uh, I'd definitely like to keep it for a couple days um, and admire it and realize what that ball means. Um, like I said, each ball hack has really their own integrity. Um, I'd like to think that I would keep it, um, but there's definitely uh, going to be things that I don't expect Um if I'm put in that situation. Uh, I'd like to say my fandom would dominate, but you never really know. Absolutely. So, Ryan, where can everybody find your stuff? 
Yeah, uh, my address for my blog that I keep uh, is rye-mort.blogspot.com. Uh, I do a lot of ball hawk updates on Twitter, where my handle is R-T-M-O-R-T-E. Uh, we do have a Facebook page. It's uh, called Base Blog. That's two words. Uh, and then if you wanted to keep up to date with my stats and everything, you can go to mygameballs.com. And my account name there is ryguy 13 Thanks for listening to The Great Debate here on SportstownChicago.com. Catch us live every Tuesday and Thursday morning from 8 to 9.30 right here on SportstownChicago.com.